Hello everyone, I'm Zane Smith and welcome back to ZS Golf here at Chickapoo Woods Golf Academy. Today we're going to be working on alignment. So we've already worked on grip and posture and here comes the last part of our fundamental series, alignment. Now, with alignment, I want to make sure my body's lined up where it needs to be. If it's not lined up where it needs to be, it doesn't matter how good of a swing I have as a golfer, that ball's not going anywhere near the target. So I have to make sure that I'm set up correctly and I've got to make sure that I'm lined up correctly. Now, first, let's get started by going over ball position. This is part of alignment because it's where that ball is lined up with the feet. So in golf, right, the first thing I got to make sure I know is where is that seven iron going to be located? So I already know, if I, if I understand fundamentals to any degree, I already know that my pitching wedge, my nine iron, all my short clubs, for their full swing is going to go in the middle of the stance, right underneath the nose, right? It's going to go in the middle of the stance. With a seven iron, it gets a little more tricky, right? Club's getting longer. I got to make sure I get this ball up in the air. So one thing I'm going to make sure I do to get the most launch out of it, to get ideal launch and spin numbers, is I'm going to make sure I put that a little bit ahead of the center of the stance, so a little closer to my lead foot. So I'm a righty. That's my left. Right, if you're a lefty, it's your right, so on and so forth. So I've got my ball right here. I'm gonna make sure I, I have two ways of thinking about this. I, I can either set it in relation to my head or my upper body, or I can set it in relation to my feet. Okay, it just depends on you. So I'm gonna show you both ways on how to do it. The first one is I gotta make sure that that ball is within a certain zone, and that zone is between my left eye and my left ear. Okay, that's a great way of looking at it. So I'm gonna set up. Get my feet set, and that's right here. Left eye, left ear, just ahead of the middle of the stance. Or I can think, okay, I'm not really good at using my head in relation that really confuses me. So I'm going to get my feet set up. I'm going to get about a club and a half from my left and two clubs and a half from my right. And that sets you up in pretty much the exact same position. So now we got to get our body aligned. We know where to place that ball. We got to get that body aligned. So I've got this imaginary line called my target line. That goes from the ball to my target way out there. Uh, and along that line, I'm going to find something, an intermediate target, right? That can be a blade of grass. It can be a divot. It could be a punch mark. It could be a tee. It could be a piece of a tee. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to line my club up to that, uh, well, line my club up with a ball to that intermediate target and then to that target way out in the distance. And what I like to do is I always like to look intermediate target, target, ball, intermediate target, target, making sure that club face is pointed on the right line because that is super important. So I've got it set up here. Then I'm going to take my grip. And then once I take my grip, I'm going to set my feet. Now my feet are, that ball position is right in the middle, right in the middle of the feet. And now, depending on what club I have, I'm going to take the necessary step. So with a 7-iron, just a little short step left, a little bit bigger step right, trying to put it in that same zone we talked about. If it's a driver, right, I'm going to make sure it's up on the left heel there. I'm going to take a big step with the right foot, and I'm done. Now, I've got my feet set. Now we've got to talk about the rest of the body line. So my feet are good, but what about the rest of my body? Well, for starters, I have to make sure that the hips are square. So we already worked on the bump, right? So that's going to get that, those hips pointed a little up. That line, if this were extended, is never going to touch that. Never going to touch it. So I'm going to make sure I set that up correctly. Then what I've got to make sure I do is I've got to set up my shoulders correctly. A lot of people, they'll stand like this to the ball, thinking that they're lined up correctly because they look left and they see the target. You're, they're actually open, and that's going to cause them to swing out to in. Now, other golfers, they'll stand with their, with their body a little closed, right? They're, st they're going to stand closed, usually for a little bit more power. But what the, what's going to happen is it's going to lead to a very, very inconsistent shot, and I'm either going to release the hands too much, get that ball hooking, or I might even just duff it. I might just take a huge chunk of ground because now I'm coming way inside maybe. Just depends on you. But one thing we got to make sure we do is we got to make sure that the feet, the hips, the shoulders, they're all parallel to that target line. And then I've got to also make sure I keep those lines just like we talked about in posture. I'm going to have my hips and my shoulders angled slightly up to kind of help me with that club path. 
okay? So that's super important. So when you're out there on the range, just make sure you're using things to kind of help you get this, right? So the first thing is make sure you get yourself an alignment stick. They're really cheap. You can buy them from Lowe's or Home Depot. You can get them in different colors. That's fine. Just got to make sure you place it in between you and the ball, right? In between you and the ball is the best place for it. You can even get two of them, right? One for here and one for just here in front of the feet just to be more exact, more precise. We also can place one right here to practice ball position. I can place one right across that one and practice my ball position with my seven iron, making sure that it's a little closer to my lead foot, or if I'm using my pitching wedge, making sure it's in the middle or driver in the front, right? And I just gotta make sure I'm always working. If I'm working on alignment, I'm working on precision. If I can get it precise, right? Aim small, miss small. If I can get it precise, it's gonna be much better. But one thing we have to remember, even if we get the grip, the posture, and the alignment right, it's not going to happen instantly. The change isn't going to happen instantly from good, from bad swing to good swing. We have to make sure we're constantly working on it. The fundamentals are the fundamentals for a reason, and that is if I get in that proper position, it's going to be a lot easier to make contact with the ball. But it's going to take a while for you to get used to it, so make sure you dedicate a, dedicate a practice time to just working on even one of these things is a really good uh, use of your practice. Even if you're not hitting great shots, it won't matter. You're working on the right things. And just stay true to it. And trust me, you'll see, you'll see progress in, in no time. So I hope you guys just keep working on those fundamentals. This has been Zane Smith with ZS Golf at Chickpea Woods Golf Academy. And I hope you guys keep hitting it straight out there. Oh.